Before heading to Savannah, Vice President Pence will visit the CDC for a briefing on the coronavirus vaccine process. This, as the latest White House Coronavirus Task Force report, shows cases are reaching a historic high across the country. Now, the Georgia Department of Public Health confirming 4,000 new cases of the virus. That's just on Wednesday. That's the highest rate of new infections, infections since August. Mara Sirianni is live in Midtown breaking the task force report down. Well, Georgia, like most of the country, continues to be in the red zone, and the Department of Public Health says that most of those cases in Georgia are coming from Metro Atlanta counties. That is really no surprise, but again, that latest report from the White House Coronavirus Task Force says that Georgia has seen stability in new cases and test positivity. It comes at a, quote, high plateau of ongoing community spread. That's the case for at least 70% of all of Georgia's 159 counties, which, according to the report, have moderate or high levels of community transmission. The report uh, says that most of the growth of new cases have stemmed from Fulton, DeKalb and Gwinnett counties and added that new hospitalization admissions in Georgia quote remain elevated. And so again, yesterday was a rough day. We saw um, a record high uh, number of cases and really that is coming as these tests that have been backlogged from Thanksgiving week are coming in. So uh, coming up in our next half hour, I'll kind of break down and explain how the Thanksgiving travel week and gatherings are impacting um, us now and again that what we're expecting from uh, health officials and what they're expecting in the coming months. Mara, thank you. And now the discussion is all about vaccines and several companies are working in overdrive to, to develop a coronavirus vaccine. Tonight in a Dateline exclusive, Lester Holt speaks with the heads of Pfizer, Moderna and Johnson and Johnson in their first joint interview. Key advisors from President Trump and President elect Biden's COVID task forces will also be speaking. The special race for a vaccine airs tonight at 10 right here on 11 Alive.